a naive view of robots is you're just making them move in particular ways. But in fact, if you want a robot to do anything, it's got to touch stuff. Otherwise, it's not doing much, except maybe talking to you. It's got to touch stuff. That means you have to apply forces in the world somewhere. When you apply a force, there's resistance. When you're pushing harder, you're putting more energy, kinetic energy into your robot. If something goes wrong, you have to pull that kinetic energy out. or well, you have to dissipate the kinetic energy anyway. So it's about energy management, especially if you want the robot operating near people. You better make it safe. And if it's got a lot of kinetic energy, you don't want that robot to be out, you know, fall over and have its legs trying to balance, kick someone. You have to have a, a very much a layered approach of perceiving what's around, it's using AI, perceiving what's around, deciding how much energy is safe to have in your robot right now, and then be aware of when your sensing maybe isn't very accurate, so you would preemptively pull out some of the kinetic energy ahead of time. Now, in our robots that we have in the in the in, in warehouses, they're wheeled. That makes them simpler. Uh, but um, there's a manual mode where you can grab the robot and it, it amplifies the force you're applying and goes faster. We make it so that when you push forward, it accelerates at a reasonable level so it doesn't scare people nearby. But when you pull back, we decelerate really fast because that means the human saw something and they wanted that robot to stop. So we. The AI has to make inferences about what's happening and control the kinetic energy.